Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of IGCSE Biology Revision. I'm sorry, it's been quite a while since my last video, but I'm just here to say that I am alive, so um, we'll continue off from where we left off before. So if we take a look at the syllabus, we're taking a look at the highlighted sections down below, and that's dialysis, kidney machines, and uh, the advantages and disadvantages of, of kidney transplants compared to the machines. So what is dialysis? Well, dialysis is a method of removing one or more components from a solution using diffusion. So it's a pretty simple process. If you've got the solution on the left-hand side, you know, obviously a mixture of some blue molecules and some red molecules. And if I want to extract out the red molecules from this solution here, all I have to do is separate it from another solution called the bathing liquid uh, with a partially permeable membrane. And the membrane is there for obvious reasons, to keep the blue molecules in, but allow the red molecules out. And if the molecules sort of want to go out, then of course, with the laws of diffusion, you have to meet the criteria where there's comparatively a much higher concentration on this side here um, compared to the, the, to the right-hand side. So whatever liquid you're using, the bathing liquid, it has to have very low concentrations of whatever you want out or you, whatever you want to extract from the main solution. In this case, it's the red molecules here. So it turns out that kidney machines basically use this idea. It's, it basically uses dialysis within this main component of the machine. Um, and you can imagine that uh, for people with kidney failure, so our, our cells are you know, producing waste products every single second of the day. And um, things like urea, uric acid, and you know, excess mineral salts, all that sort of stuff, they usually get excreted via the, uh, via the kidneys. So you know, if, if, if the kidneys are dysfunctional or not, you know, or not, or not working, uh, these people need to get the waste out somehow. So the kidney machines here basically fill that role. So it connects a tube to the, uh, to the vein um, of, the, of the patient. And so the blood goes out of the veins, gets pumped, and enters the main unit here. <coughs> so if you were to look at it at a molecular level, what you'll see inside this main unit is essentially what we saw right before. Okay, so you've got, in this case, the blood on the left-hand side. The blue molecules can represent the, the things in the blood that we want to keep in the blood. For example, red blood cells, you know, useful proteins, all that sort of stuff. The red ones are everything that we want out. Again, we talked about urea, uric acid, uh, mineral salts, and all that sort of stuff. And again, you know, the solution on the right-hand side will have very low concentra concentrations of waste products. So... Uh, the waste from the from the blood will diffuse out naturally. Okay, so um, ideally, when the blood comes out through here, the top part here, you'll have blood that is very very clean, devoid of all the waste products. Okay. So there are uh, there are benefits of getting a kidney transplant as opposed to using those machines. Uh, some of the benefits can be that the fact that the patient can return to a normal lifestyle. Uh, patients on those, you know, dialysis, kidney machines have to go to the hospital every three days a week or something like that, and the session each time they go is not short, okay? Um, and the dialysis machines themselves can be quite expensive to buy and maintain, and I suppose if you're not using the machine um, and you get a transplant, then the machine then will be available for other people to use, um, others that, you know, need it. But again, there's disadvantages of kidney transplants, and the main one, obviously, is that a suitable donor is required, and that's not, that's sometimes not easy. There might not be a suitable donor that can give you a, tra uh, a kidney. Um, and second of all, even if you do receive that kidney, there's always the chance of, sorry, ignore change, it's chance of rejection, okay? Um, the operation itself is quite expensive. And, you know, this can sort of conflict with religious beliefs and things like that. Some religions don't, don't accept, you know, transplants. Okay, so that's it for today. Again, thank you for watching. And I apologize again for, you know, not uploading frequently. But um, I, will, I will try my best from now. Okay, see you guys.